What the heck is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle. If you're new here, I live in New York City. It's Friday night and we're gonna be doing a weekend in my life vlog but close friends story edition. I do these every now and then, especially on weekends, you know, because there might be a little alcohol involved. Um, a little loosey-goosey, if you will. I really love filming these videos. And I know you guys like them too. It's a little bit fun, a little bit less. I'm always real in my videos, but I feel like it's less like montage coffee, like cute, you know, cause I really do like to do the artistic vibe of it all. However, sometimes it's fun to just be unhinged and random and that's what I'm feeling this weekend. It's Friday night and well, it's St. Patrick's Day and I am Irish, but I'm not over here like, I clearly, I didn't even know, like, I don't even know. I don't know when the proper day is to celebrate here in the city, like some people are going tomorrow, there was a parade today, but like in Boston the parade's on Sunday, like I'm like, when do you guys celebrate St. Patrick's Day? I don't remember this being a thing last year, like last year, whatever, I think it was the Thursday, yeah it was Thursday night, we went to a pub and we had a great time and everyone was wearing green and like that was that, but this year I'm like, everyone's celebrating St. Patrick's Day on like a different day, like, Brooke went to Hoboken like two weekends ago and celebrated St. Patrick's Day. I'm here for it, but I'm just like, whoa. Anyways, I am, we had a busy day today for Gals on the Go. We recorded and then we shot our Brooklyn and Bundle, which if you guys don't know, we did a Gals on the Go Brooklyn and Bundle. So it's two towels, our favorite towels actually, this robe, and then sheets, our favorite sheets, the Luxe Sateen sheets. You can like customize the colors, but we like curated the pink ones obviously. So we shot that today, it was so fun. And then I've just been sitting on the couch watching TV for like an hour, which felt really good. My head hurts, so I'm like chugging water. I am drinking this Hint water. It's really good. It's infused with blueberry and lemon, this one. Mm, delicious. But I'm like at a crossroads because I'm supposed to, so the plan for tonight was get dinner and like drinks, like girly, I love a Friday night dinner and drinks, with my friend Morgan, who you guys would like probably recognize, went to high school together, she lives here now. Um, and then like meet up with Ryan, his roommate, which is one of my really good friends, and other people. Um, it's almost 8 o'clock. And I said to Morgan, I was like, let's just like do dinner at like 8, you know? Like, I would like a little bit more time on the couch. And now she's like, okay, perfect. Actually, my boss just asked me to do more work. And Ryan's boss just asked me to do more work. And I'm like, <laughs> so obviously respect that and everything but now I'm like should, like Morgan was like if you need to eat without me all good I'm like should I eat like I don't want to bother her because she's working but I'm like I'm starting to get hungry but also she's gonna need food she was like I can just get a pizza near my office but like but also what if they both end up just having to work and then I get ready like I'm just I don't want to get ready yet because well I don't want to not go out on St. Patrick's Day but also I don't want to get ready and then the I don't know also, my head kind of hurts, so that's why I've been drinking water. Um, I'm just at a crossroads. I don't know. I feel like everyone's had those days where you're, like, in this limbo of, like, am I going out? Am I not? Like, I, I definitely want to. I fully, I've had time. I picked out my outfit. Well, I don't know what bag I'm using, but I totally forgot I have this top from Revolve. It's so cute. I just got it. I'll link it below. Um, it'll probably be on my like to know it as well. My LTK, it's always linked down below. It's so cute. It's this green bodysuit with a cutout, high neck, my Abercrombie Curve Love jeans that I can't get enough of. These obviously don't go together, but like it's St. Patrick's Day, so green. Or this definitely, those tones look really nice together. I just don't know what jacket I'm wearing. So I feel like it kind of depends on what jacket I wear. But also if I wear a black leather jacket, I feel like I should have a black bag. You guys know me, I love to pull in my bag to the outfit in some way. But I already tried this on, it looks so cute. And um, yeah. But I just like don't wanna, bu like Ryan was like, I'm gonna be working for a couple more hours. Like they just gave me some more work and I'm like, ooh, like not to be annoying, but like are we going out? You know when you're like, I don't wanna be annoying, but also like do I need to get ready? Like that's where I'm at right now. I mean, I'm sure there's someone I could text and be like, hey, I'm ready, like what are you guys up to? <sighs> But I hate that. Ugh, I'm just out here filling up my Brita. Getting the water all ready to put back in the fridge. I kind of do need a snack, but what if I literally make the snack and then Morgan's like, I'm ready. She was like, I'll just come to your apartment and then we'll go. She's like already wearing her green and stuff. I just, ugh, I don't know what to do. Should I just get ready? So this is when I should be on like live and you guys can comment and be like, yes, just get ready. Maybe I'll go on Instagram live right now. I'm in that mood. <laughs> We have an update, Danielle is indeed going out, and it's a great situation. Margot Asher FaceTimed me, um, and we talked for a little bit, and then by the time 
we hung up Morgan and Ryan like texted at the same time and Ryan's done with work so he's going to get drinks to some of his friends right now that are in town and Morgan's about to head over but she was like what if we just order food to your apartment because she's like well she's finishing up right now she's gonna head over and then we could just like go out and like have a cute cocktail somewhere and I was like let's do it I'm randomly craving Thai food she was like get me the pad Thai boom done so I just ordered from two Thai t-u-e Thai it's in the West Village and I love it and it, I live so close to it so it literally comes in like it literally said 15 to 20 minutes which is crazy awesome so I'm gonna start getting ready and then the Thai food's gonna come and then it'll kind of be nice because my one flaw um, is I'm really bad at drinking and eating and so sometimes if I'm like drinking 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 and then my food comes This is like such a stupid problem But then the food comes and then I'm full and then I like lost the drunk and then like I don't Not that that's what I need to have fun, but you know certain nights I do want to feel a little tipsy then I'd like I like have to start all over I don't know if this is like so crazy to say but so it'll be kind of nice to like get my base layer in eat my pad see you and then we'll like go out and like have cute cocktails somewhere and then go out and like we don't have to worry about like meals in the middle. I don't know. I'm kind of here for it. But I want to get ready in this robe so badly because it's so comfortable. Um, however, my shirt is this. So I feel like I need to wear it while I get ready. You know, like I do. I just paused it because copyright, but this is the playlist I'm listening to right now. If it would focus, it's top hits of 2012. I don't know why I've been feeling like 2010, 2012 type of music. So that's what I'm playing right now. Makeup is done. Food arrived as soon as I was done doing my makeup, so that's perfect. I think I'm gonna eat without Morgan because it's almost nine o'clock. It's a little late for my dinner time. Um, so I had lunch at like, you know, noon or one, so I'm like real hungry. Um, but I think she'll be here soon. So, top's cute, right? I'm wearing sweatpants right now because like, why would I wear jeans right now if I don't have to? Got the candle going. I might as well turn on some TV and watch some Nashville. Um, even though I just was doing that, but like, why not? I was gonna show you guys my meal. Oh, treated myself and I got Pad CU. My two orders from Thai food restaurants are either Pad CU, which is are these thick noodles and I get with chicken, or I will do um, like chicken broccoli with rice. Those are my two go-tos. Okay, literally <laughs> scarfed that down. I was clearly so hungry, Morgan's still not here. This is called me waiting for Morgan. Um, I'm gonna FaceTime Ryan. I just need to like get hype. I'm about to like just wanna cuddle up on my couch, you know, when you're like waiting too long. I'm gonna crack open a drink. Let's see. I'm thinking this neutral raspberry. Oh, they did it. They Hello. Did it. What's up? Are you watching this? What am I supposed to be watching? History. Madness. This is history. Who's making history now? There was never a 16 seed to beat a one seed. Never. Um, oh, it wow. Years ago to, to Virginia. Dude, dude, they're in New Jersey. They're in New Jersey? Well, I'm still waiting on Morgan, but I just started drinking alone. <laughs> wow. Yep. Um, Morgan and I are drinking. I'm probably going to rip a shower and then. Have a couple beers and we'll go out or something. Rip a shower. Oh, you like you haven't like gotten ready. That was such an unproductive phone call. I should have realized March Madness was on right now. I'm just here drinking my this so this is called neutral. It's vodka seltzer. I was gonna have a spritz, but it's wine based, and then I would just like be drinking wine for the rest of the night. I don't think that's the vibe tonight. I mean, I've definitely had spritz and like liquor together, but whatever. Um, I just got these and I love them. I've had them before, but I just got more of them for my fridge. And I really, really enjoy them. So this is the raspberry flavor. My favorite's the cranberry flavor, but that wasn't in the pack that I got. So I don't know. I'm getting really uh, just antsy over here. Okay, things are happening. We're gonna start at Houston Hall. Morgan is just gonna eat her pad thai tomorrow. She's like, I just need to go home, drop off my work stuff. We're just working through the day. We're gonna go to Houston Hall with the boys and then go out from there. Um, it's so, like I'm getting tired because I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I'm fully ready, we must go. And I'm excited, like I'm feeling a drink a little bit. But yeah, so I ended up doing black accessories so I switched to these silver earrings. Jacket is my favorite leather jacket ever. It's not like super cold today so I was like, this is fine. Jeans and then boots are from Zara bag is Rebecca Winkoff. I love a shoulder bag and I thought I'd just do like 
the silver accessories with the black. But yeah, I love Houston Hall. It's like this big, it's literally like a big hall. And it's really fun. They usually have a DJ on the weekends or maybe all the time, I don't really know, but it's a good time. Let's go. <laughs> My water bottle like tastes like something I ate last night. Good morning, you guys. It is Saturday morning. I definitely did a terrible job vlogging at the club, <laughs> at the club, at the bar. We went to house and all we stayed there the whole time, probably for like two or three hours. Three hours maybe? It was so, so much fun. So many people from parts of my life, like one of my friends who's in town from Atlanta came and like he's like one of Brian's good friends from college and like we became good friends in college. And then I was obviously my friend Morgan from high school and then Jazz and Hallie came. And then I saw, if you guys know Gretchen, her cousin Mandy, there's just like so many worlds there. So it was really, really fun. The music was so good. They give you like a little bit of everything. Like there was Drake, they played a little country. So Houston Hall might be it. And it's just so big so like, there's usually not a line, or if there is, it moves pretty fast because it's so big, so people are constantly coming in and out. I definitely could have done a better job vlogging. And then got home, Ryan and I ate a piece of toast, <laughs> and then went to bed. We just woke up, actually. He just left because um, our friends are in town, a different group. Well, they all know each other, but a couple. They, like, FaceTimed Ryan. We were in bed still, and they were like, Let's go get lunch. Like they landed this morning and I love these people so much. They were the ones when I went to Florida. I didn't vlog it. So you'd only know from like podcasts or Instagram stories. But we went to Florida. Um, what was it called? Fernandina Beach, I think. Last, I don't remember. Was it August? Maybe? Anyways, when they got engaged. We were there when they got engaged. So they're really close to us. Went to college with them. And they're in New York for the weekend. So we're going to get lunch with them. They just asked today and then we have dinner with them tonight and they're coming i cannot speak right now if you guys can tell birthday dinner tonight and then remy bader is actually having a birthday party tonight that's denim and diamond themed and i am definitely obsessed with that so i already planned my outfit but i'm gonna have to wear the outfit to dinner so so that's gonna be you know i'll just be that annoying person like sorry i have like a birthday you know yeah so but anyways, I'm excited. It's a beautiful day. It's like 50 degrees, but it's like real sunny. But I managed to put on pajamas last night. I was really proud of myself. Ryan and I do this thing. Our water cup and paper towel from our toast last night. Where we come back and we're like, yeah, let's watch some TV before bed. When like, in reality, we're gonna have to rewind whatever we played because we both fell asleep on the couch. And then like, we both woke each other up and we're like, like, I think we watched probably five minutes. Like, not even. Like, I think I I was like, okay, Danielle, remember this. Like, you, like, because it's a show we're watching right now called The Watchful Eye on Hulu. And I just know that, whatever. So now we have lunch at 1.45. It's 12 now, but, like, Chug Girl is hungry. So, oh, my gosh. The butter knife from last night. Oh, I'm filling up my Brita. I guess I never put it in the fridge. Damn. You hate to see that. Um, but I need a little something, something right now. Ugh, this is so heavy. So I'm just going to make a couple eggs, I think. Because we're going to Loring Place in Greenwich Village. I really, really like that place. Um, and they do have brunch. Ugh, so should I make eggs? Am I going to want to order eggs? Let me look at the menu, decide what I'm going to order, and then we'll go from there. All right, I think I'm actually going to get something from the lunch menu. So no worries, guys. I know you were really, really stressed for me. So I'm just gonna make some scrambled eggs right now. I've been into burgers lately. They have veggie burger or a cheeseburger and they both sound so good. Oh my gosh, my tummy is rumbling. I need to make coffee. Okay, I need to do some things. Ta-da, the Danielle special avocado with scrambled eggs. Okay, I ate breakfast and then I watched an episode of Nashville. I'm just obsessed. Um, we're gonna clean now, just on the off chance our friends wanna see my apartment. I don't think so, but I just always need to leave my apartment clean in case like, especially on the weekends, if like someone comes by with me. We're gonna to listen to top hits of 2008. I'm like loving what's on here and I just know I'm gonna love it. So we're gonna to listen to this, clean up just a little bit. I need to shower, make my bed. We're gonna to get to work. Okay, I just cleaned and showered and I'm trying to figure out my outfit. I keep, I always look out the window and I'm like, what's everyone wearing? It's like 40, it's like 50. So 
And people, I see people holding their jackets like they're warm because it's sunny. So my options were obviously my Abercrombie Curve Love jeans because I texted Anne and she was like, I'm kind of dressed up. But I'm not going to wear makeup, but like I feel like this is a good lunch outfit. Jeans, and then I either have this top from Maritzia. This is the back, and it's like high neck. Or this white long sleeve rib top that I wear all the time with this vest because it keeps you really warm. It's not a jacket though, so I was like, do I need this because it's a little thicker? But also, I like how these two look together rather than these two. So we'll see. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I think I'm going to be warm enough in this. The vest, this just looks so freaking cute with the white long sleeve and the jeans. Like, I guess I should belt it. I was like, I don't even need to belt it, but... The belting keeps it warmer. It's such a vibe. I'm obsessed. And then I have these like tortoise -y sunglasses that I'm going to use as a headband because that is what I do when my hair is not herring. <laughs> and then we'll do this white bag with the Janes. I don't know what she's doing. I should probably do sneaks. Cause I'm like not wearing makeup. That's so random to like wear some heels. You guys know I'm into my like lots of jewelry, glowy face oil, no makeup era. And yes, I said era and I will keep saying it. Shoes. If I were a shoe, what shoe <laughs> would I want to be today? Um, oh, I know what shoes I should wear. My Vejas. They're perfect colors with the fit this is perfect i'm so excited for like a wholesome lunch well i'm sure some of them will drink i will not drink because we're going out tonight and i i can't do both i just can't i always think i can and then i just can't i don't think i've ever successfully done both so here's the fit kind of gotta go oh my god ew gross okay bye hi hello cheers yum <laughs> this is the weirdest thing to me seeing a cruise ship in New York City. That's so trippy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no one really knows about this spot. We are back now. We walked around so much. We had such a beautiful day. Like, the weather was unreal. But I literally was so thirsty when we got back. I, like... Well, clearly I didn't chug it. But I just walked in. I immediately grabbed my Brita. But it was still so bright out. So we were like, oh my god, we have so much time till dinner. We're walking around all up or... We're walking all up and down West Side Highway. And it was so good to be with my friends from school. I love them so much. I love that, I love that our friends visit all the time. It's really nice. Um, but we have dinner with them tonight, too, because the birthday dinner we're going to is from Ryan and all these guys. They all went to high school together, but then they also went to Georgia together, and, like, I met them. And then one of their other friends from high school who I've become friends with here, kind of confusing, she's having her birthday dinner to tonight at Dudley's, which I love Dudley's. And I recently went there for dinner, and it's a vibe. You can order, like, the drinks in these big, like, dispensers. Oh, my gosh. So I'm hoping I can convince the group to do that because it was so good. So, yeah. So we're going there for dinner tonight. But we were like, oh, my God. It's, like, 5.45. We have dinner at 7.30. Like, it's in Lower East Side. We were all on the West Side. Like, whatever. So, you know, typically I would have liked, you know, because we literally walked all day. I would have liked to, like, chill for a little bit. But did sleep until 12. So that's okay. Um, but I've, I guess I could shower again, but I'm not going to. I pretty much have to leave in about 40 minutes. <laughs> so, and I gotta get, gotta get ready for this denim and diamonds party. Um, ugh, I just hate to show up to this birthday dinner in like an outfit and be like, oh, like I'm going to a theme party after this. Like, I don't wanna be annoying. But the birthday girl said she actually doesn't wanna go out because she wants to go watch the half marathon. So I'm not gonna be like ditching them. Well, they're all gonna go out. I'll probably meet them after, but I wanna stop by this party. So. Hello, welcome to the glam room. Just finished doing my makeup. I forgot to put on like face oil before I put on my makeup and I feel like now my makeup's not glowy enough, but that's fine. Um, but I wanna show you guys, I just got this Makeup Forever eyeliner in the color Boundless Bisque. It's really 
popular right now to do the white eyeliner but i feel like it looks really intense on me so when i got my makeup done in orlando for the orlando live show she did this color on me and i was like wait my eyes look so good and like bright and this is more of like a cream color rather than like the stark white and i'm obsessed i love it it's so subtle so easy i don't know i've just been adding it to my routine and I've been trying to be better about curling my lashes too. The lighting looks weird because it's like half on my face, half not. But you get the vibes. Yeah, I'm like, I literally almost redid all of my makeup because I was so mad I forgot to put on um, like serum before. Because I feel like my face just looks like blah. But you can't always get what you want. My mascara go-to recently has been the Lancome Sills Booster Primer and the L'Oreal Telescopic with the waterproof one. Fire combo. So I'm going to keep getting ready and then I'll show you guys my outfit that I picked out last night. Again, I feel so weird going to this dinner in this, but whatever. You got to do what you got to do. I look so silly right now, but this denim corset top is doing what it needs to. It really is a corset for sure. I'm like... It's a thing, um, but I love it. It's so cute, doing lots of denim on denim, and then I'm gonna wear, since the theme for tonight's party is denim and diamonds, gonna wear these earrings. I wore them last night too. These are literally my only, well, this is perfect for this theme, but I don't even have any silver earrings. I need to get some like silver hoops. I almost bought some on Amazon the other day, and then I just didn't. Do you ever like about to buy like, like they were like $5 earrings, and then I was just like, eh, not today. Like, why? Now I'm regretting not having those. But I just didn't feel like it, you know? I don't know if that's, like, a weird thing to say. Then, we have this. Because I was like, I need a jacket. And I'm like, alright, do I just go denim, 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 denim? Like, I kind of vibe with it. And then, I'm not going to wear this to dinner because... No. But on my way to the party, I'm going to put this choker on. And I think... That should do the trick. I mean, ideally, when I go to the party, I take this off. Cute. And then I actually have these boots. But I don't know. But also, when else am I going to wear the boots? But low-key, this outfit on its own is not... It's, like, kind of fine. But, like, I could wear these because they're really good for the party. And they're comfortable. They're from Bellini. Bellini shoes. They're so cute. But I'm like, is that too much? But also, I don't know what other shoes I'd wear. I could wear black, but I have no black in my outfit at all. And I think I was going to use this as my purse? Question mark. So... I don't know. I feel like this vlog is me trying to figure out my plans or my outfit. And, you know, I'm going to try and be better tonight at, like, vlogging, like, while I'm out and being silly. It'll be easier when I'm at Remy's party because that's like a lot of influencers and they get it. But I don't, I'm not going to like pull out the vlog camera a ton at this girl's birthday dinner. Like that's rude. <laughs> All right, here is the final fit. We will be putting this on later in the Uber. And then this jacket is from Zara. This is uh, Revolve Ow Intimates, O-W. And then shoes are Bellini. Yeah, I said that. Did not realize it was 720. I'm not 10 minutes away anymore like I used to be when I left. Oh my god, I'm going to be so late. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna be a 20 minute drive. Shit.
guys, we have much to discuss. I just went to Acme for the first time. Now we're going into McDougal Street Ale House to see my friends. Much to discuss. Our boyfriends and fiance are playing pool. And so now we have to wait until they finish. Girlfriends and boyfriends play pool, unite. Unite and golf. And golf. And golf. To my right, to my left. Better not screw up. Come on, Ryan. Uh, We're back. It's almost 2 a.m. Not that late, but late for me. All freaking night, my right eye, bombastic side eye, <laughs> all night, my right eye has been tearing up and it's so annoying. My tummy isn't feeling great. The party, they only had tequila. So it's sponsored by tequila, which, mad respect. But I don't drink tequila. And I befriended one of the bartenders, and he would just like pour me vodka. Makes me like want to throw up right now though, because he would like mix my drink in the cocktail shakers that clearly had tequila, so it still tasted like tequila. So that's what we're working with right now. So, tummy not thriving. Ryan eating pad thai. Mm -hmm. Um, me eating sourdough toast with butter because that's all that sounds appealing right now. But such a fun night. Oh, went to Acme. I was like about to leave to meet my friends. Hello. I was about to meet my friend, like him and all the people that I was at dinner with. And then Serena was like, Do you guys want to go to Acme? And I was like, You know what? I do. If you listen to the podcast, you know, tried to get into Acme once and it was a no-go. You have to like know this guy and I don't know this guy. And I just like need to see what all the hype was about. It was fine, but like it's not different than any other bar in New York. So it's kind of like, why is this the place people are on their hands and knees trying to get in? I don't know. But I'm like happy I went. It was a lot of throwback music, like no Drake, you know? So that's my review, but I appreciate her getting me in. I don't think I would have got in otherwise. And the party was lovely. I love a good theme. I love a good party. And yeah, we made it through the weekend just about tomorrow Sunday, so no alcohol for me. <laughs> good morning. It's Sunday morning. Good morning. Sunday morning, rain is falling. I can confidently say I'm not thriving right now. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah. I had a moment this morning. I woke up, wasn't feeling my best. And I haven't thrown up from alcohol in 2023 yet. I know. I'm telling the vlog right now, but thank you for replying. And I threw up this morning. So that was just like, it was a pride thing because I hadn't yet this year. It's March, but that's okay. I feel better now. So I think it was because, I, I think I said last night about at the party, like the guy made me a vodka drink, but he mixed it in the tequila. And I think that just wasn't my stomach's vibe. So it's okay, making coffee, I convinced Ryan to have a semi-lazy half day, a half lazy day. Um, and we, we slept through the first half. What? We slept through the first half. We slept through the first half. It's noon now. <laughs> so, it's okay. And uh, we ordered bagels. <laughs> and we're going to chill on the couch. I'm going to make him sit on the couch with me. Because both of us are very, like, we like to do things. But sometimes you just need a good old couch sit eat bagels, be lazy, and like, watch TV. I see sports are on right now, but that's gonna change. <laughs> this 
is very necessary at this moment. My new video went up and everyone's loving it. I did an unedited day in my life and people love it. It's so crazy because like those aren't high edited, they're not edited. It's just me putting all the clips together and you guys are all like, I like this one girl's like, I'm a silent viewer normally, but I just want to say I love all the new content ideas you've had and I really appreciate it. And that means a lot to me because I've been really trying to think outside the box and like still do vlogs, but like, I don't know, make them even more fun. I could cry a little bit. We got tall bagels, T-A-L. I get sesame with ham, egg, and cheese. We're trying to figure out what to watch. It's always a struggle, but I have a whole list on my phone that you guys provided of things to watch with your boyfriend. So we're just trying to look on this list. If you want a screenshot, here's the list. Update. Ryan has gone and come back. He went to get his computer so we can truly hibernate together. I opened the door and I said, welcome to the dungeon. Cause it's like dark in my hallway. Still chilling. We're watching a movie called Set It Up. I paused it while he was gone. And then I watched TikToks and YouTube. And now he's back. We're gonna call work together. Oh, it's sunny out. Yeah. Nice day outside. It is nice outside. I don't know what I would do outside though. It looks cold. The only thing I would love to do today is sauna or steam. Yeah, that'd be nice. There's a sauna appointment available at 645. Wow. That we could do together. Alas, she is up. I made my bed. I hung up my clothes that I was wearing last night. Like my jackets and stuff. I just kind of like threw them all over chairs. It's 337, still in my PJs. Ryan's in the living room. I think I'm gonna shower really quick and then we're gonna go get dim sum. I've never been before, like dumplings. So, I can't believe it's still light out. I'm loving this so much. Okay, we're leaving the house. Well, Ryan's already left the house. I'm leaving the house. Um, I'm wearing this Princess Polly sweat set. Hopefully it's, I think it should be warm. Are you just wearing that? I'm fine then. You just wore a hoodie? Yep. Okay. Then I should definitely be fine. I don't want to hold a bag. But I feel like I should in case, in case up alone and wanting a main character moment um me i'm ready and then all of a sudden i'm not ready i just don't know what to carry this in but yeah this is the fit it's like four o'clock so late lunch early dinner it's basically an early dinner because yeah um but yeah i'm excited we're gonna try this place called steam that i've been wanting to go to ryan's wishing he had another jacket now. <laughs> it's a little cold it's just windy right now but now we're in the sun. Ooh. Feels good to be outside. Is this what it's like? Being outside on Sunday, March 19th. Tomorrow's my half birthday. Oh, yeah. Okay. Just letting you know. Yeah. It's a surprise party planned already. And then your half birthday's on Wednesday, then, if mine's on Monday. <laughs> Fun fact. I want literally everything on this menu, so. Oh my gosh, we got bao buns and spring rolls. I'm so excited. Yay! All right, we're back now. It was so delicious. I've been getting better at cutting my wicks. Um, because, like, see how, like, that ball appears? And then it makes the smoke, like, gray and scary. Um, I, what I normally do is I'll just, like, take the end of my lighter and tap them which I kind of feel does the same thing, but it's better. I feel like it's better for like cleaner air in your apartment. So this is me cutting my wick. This candle is called Light Me Up When You're Making Out. It smells really good. It's Amber Noir from Montserrat. Ryan's watching Watch Madness. I'm playing Deep Focus for him on Spotify and I'm kind of vibing with it. I think I'm gonna play it like, not when I'm studying or studying, working. Just lit this candle too. I got a mini one of the Nest Matcha Lime and Zest because I'm obsessed. That rhymed. I'm just doing some cleaning. Take the trash and recycling out. Redoing the bags. I'm about to fill up my supplements. Good, good Sunday vibes. Ryan's leaving now. <laughs> Guys, I successfully... 
after we went to go get food, I thought for sure he was gonna like go home. And he goes, okay, let's go back now. And I was like, yeah. See, you successfully got work done. Yeah. With me here. It while did. I worked. Yeah, you did. I sat at the table and I. Didn't distract me enough. Oh, did you want me to distract you? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Perfect. Because I want to do this again sometime. Absolutely. Well, we'll do it again. Okay, great. Great job. Danielle and Ryan Associates Law Firm. Right here. <laughs> We're here to help you. <laughs> well, folks, that's a wrap. It was a very fun weekend. I really hope I got enough footage. And I'm happy with how... Really, we didn't have much planned other than, like, last night. We just kind of went through the motions. And I'm really thankful for my day with Ryan today. It was really, really nice to um, just kind of chill and do work and then eat and then eat again and... I love days like this. It doesn't happen a lot, so when it does, it's really nice, and I feel very set up for the week ahead, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, this was a little bit more close friends vibe, um, and I'll see you guys next time for my next vlog. Love you guys.